Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another World's Worst Tattoos video, so let's just jump into it. This is World's Worst Tattoos. I got it written down. 153. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Here's a girl who just loves KFC so much that she got a KFC tattoo on the inside of her lip. Apparently these tattoos aren't permanent, but it's still stupid. The stupidity of the tattoo lasts forever though. This is living. Oh, here's a picture of her 10 years later at KFC. Because all she ate for 10 years was KFC. That actually sounds pretty awesome. I love KFC. I would devote my life to KFC, but I just have too much other stuff in my life. Like kids and a wife. <sighs> I just wish I could devote my life to something that really matters. Like KFC. Ugly. Tattooed on your face. Man, who did this tattoo? You did your own tattoo, didn't you? First of all, I don't think you're ugly, okay? Everyone's beautiful in their own way. And second of all, why? Why the fuck would you do this to your face, man? It's so stupid. Such a bad face tattoo. How are you going to get a job now? Fuck. Do not touch. Willy. Um, is this, I don't know the placement of this tattoo, but maybe it's like just on their stomach, just above. I'm not sure, but it sounds like they're saying not to touch their willy, okay? So don't touch, because that's sexual assault. Don't touch the willy, okay? Okay. It's fucking rawr. Now this one I had on my computer for a very long time and I was like, I don't get it. Who is that? And uh, I don't know. I just did not get that it was Chef Ramsay for the longest time until my wife looked at this one and she was like, oh, it's Chef Ramsay. And I like, I had it for like four years on my computer. I should have just showed her right away. It's fucking rawr. You get it? Like raw? It's fucking rawr. Rawr. And he always comes in like that with his little T-Rex hands like this, like. It's fucking raw. I don't think he actually does that. Actually, I let my wife look at some of the tattoos and some of the stuff I use in my videos sometimes when she's just chilling in my office for a little bit. And some of the best jokes have been just things that she said in passing. Sometimes I'll be editing a video and she'll say something and I'll be like, oh, now I gotta film that part because that was hilarious. Or she'll like be looking at a video after it's already uploaded and then she'll give me a joke and I'll be like, damn it, that would have been good. I should always just run by all the pictures by my wife first. The videos would be so much better. It would be hilarious instead of just this guy trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, my life is so sad. Here's a extremely well done tattoo, but so weird. It's a guy pooping out his own head. You see his head sunk into his body and it's coming out his bum bum. Cool. Not sure why you got the detailed eye and you're like, just above it, I want a man pooping his head on top of the detailed eye. You know, I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse tattoos. So is it like a metaphor for something? Like a shithead? Here's a very well done Marilyn Monroe tattoo. And I just don't understand. Where did these ducks come from? You went from like, amazing Marilyn Monroe tattoo to deformed ducks and deformed stars underneath. It's really taking away from the beauty of the tattoo above. And it looks like you did the ducks after the Marilyn Monroe. So what? You're like, my tattoos are too good. I need to get some shit tattoos. You got drunk and did that to yourself, didn't you? Yeah. You're like, I just want to add something to my Marilyn Monroe tattoo, like a heart made out of, out of ducks or swans or whatever animal those are. And you know, I'll just do it myself. It's fine. But pay a professional? Are you crazy? Never lie. What an odd lower back tattoo. Never lie. It's a good message, I guess. It's just creepy that your lower back is always going to be staring at people. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. Eyes on the back. It's like they're always being watched. I don't fucking know. Here's some man that got a six pack tattoo. And the best little added detail to this is that it's Duff Beer. So it's a Simpsons tattoo and a six pack tattoo. And uh, I don't know why, sir, you needed to get this fake six pack when clearly you have a full six pack already. Look at that thing. Look at that. Me and this guy have pretty much the same physique, so I can't really complain. His beard's a little bigger than mine, so I can't really say much. In fact, maybe I'll get a tattoo of Duff Beer on my stomach. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I'll ever get a tattoo. I can never just pull the trigger on what I think a good idea is. I've had lots of tattoo ideas. 
I even have a few right now, but I'm like, you know what? I just, it's, it's a commitment. I already married my wife and had children. Those are two big commitments I already made, okay? I don't know if I can go for the third. Here's Waldo coming out of a butt crack. Here's Waldo forcing his way out of a butt crack. He's like, God damn, you guys couldn't find me. I had the best hiding spot ever. I was in this dude's butthole for like three years. Nobody knew where Waldo was. But now I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm tired of picking corn out of poop. Yeah, I'm the ultimate winner of hide and seek. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower now. Here's a creepy back of the head tattoo. I've seen these ones where people have faces on the back of their heads, but this is just angry and intense. And honestly, if you just grew your hair back, you could kind of just give this guy hair. If you grew your hair, I don't know if you are if you can grow your hair anymore, but if even if you just put like a wig on, this would really, <laughs> I want to see him wearing like a curly wig or something. I feel like it would take away from the creepiness. It just looks like you have the face of a constipated man on the back of your head. It looks like the head that's coming out of this dude's butt here. That, it's the same thing. Yeah, you're just really constipated. Oh, it's a picture of a man trying to poop on the back of his head. I get it. And now we'll do uh, what they wanted versus what they got. Because I like doing those ones. Here's what they wanted. It's only forever. Not long at all. A nice little owl in, in a tree or something. And they got, it's only forever. Not long at all. They got a creeped out owl that has a turd for a beak. I don't, it, looks like, it looks like a little upside down poop emoji for the nose or the beak of this other owl. You know what though, but like, <laughs> oh, he's creeped out. That owl is freaked and has poop on his face. To be honest, without the face being bad, the skill level is not too far off. It's just he did not nail the beak or the eyes on the what they got version of this. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.